So, today we're gonna do something new, at least for my videos. I'm gonna show two sets of duels, and uh, I have to say about that, I don't like dueling, usually. I'm an invader, that's what I do, duels are not fun for me. Uh, and B, I'm gonna do commentary. Now, I have done commentaries in the past, but let's just say there is a reason why most of those videos are set to private. But anyway, I wanted to do that for a long time now, and I'll just go with it. So what happened here is, uh, I did my usual thing, I invaded in the Grand Cathedral, and I ran into this guy, Jammy, who is uh, a Twitch streamer, and he also has his own YouTube channel. I didn't know that at the time, but I do now. And I immediately noticed he was actually using the Lucerne, which is a weapon you almost never see in PvP. I think it's just deemed... Uh, very bad weapon so that was that immediately grabbed my attention and it was very f very much fun to to go up against a player who used this weapon and I think you can see already that he really knows how to play so that uh, was a, a really great experience um, and what happened immediately after that invasions invasion he invaded me so you see that happen here and of course I I contemplate going to my to my tryhard setup because when you invade me I I'm going to throw my effective stuff at you but then I recognized him again and went back to my Murakumo and we went at it again and again I had lots of fun with him um like I said he's a he's a really good player he knows how to invade uh, evade my my attacks he knows how to use this apparently bad weapon the Lucerne uh, very effectively although as you can see I do manage to get him a few times uh, and will actually win this fight again as you will see um, but anyway we, we both had a lot of fun uh, which I which I noticed when I, after this match, uh, sent him a friend request. I showered him in GG's and applauded him for his uh, playstyle and his weapon choice. And so, yeah, we agreed to have a set of duels. Now, what I like about fights with weapons like the ones Jammy and I are using is that fights are much more tactical in a way uh, because you really can't spam attacks like you can with a with a straight sword or a small axe or a katana. Uh, you have to play more tactically, you have to evade a lot, you have to really think about uh, when you're gonna attack and when you're not gonna attack and just maybe bait the, the opponent in to do something that you can punish. Uh, so you have to, to put in quite a bit of effort and I think that's that's what you'll see a lot here that we're we're gonna try to to bait each other into into making mistakes into swinging the weapon so that you can somehow counter that uh, which is yeah I know some people call that the the reactive playstyle and and I agree that that can be very annoying when people play like that um, but. It depends on the on the degree to which you are uh, doing that. If you if you're only playing reactively and never throw out an attack uh, unless the other guy uh, does it first, then yeah, that's that's gonna be quite annoying and you're gonna be a very frustrating and unpleasant opponent. Uh, but I think it's quite apparent that this is not what what happened here. It was just us both using weapons that are not completely what you would call optimal and super effective and meta um, and we just had to to lay our focus on evading attacks and really committing to uh, attacking when when we were doing that ourselves and just try to to uh, get the other one. This this is something I, I just love the whip for. You, you saw those two two absolutely evil hits that I that I got in in um, when he when he tried to 
to backstab and to roll away that that's what the whip is perfect for and here we see he's he's using the pickaxe that's that's why I love that guy awesome uh, I think that's that's the first time I ever uh, played against someone who who used the pickaxe which is probably I don't know about that but I've, I've heard people say it's the worst weapon in the game because it ha it has literally no tracking on its own uh, the damage is subpar and it slows it swings very slowly and I've got so much respect for the guy who uh, that he that he uses uh, this weapon and I still have my Murakuma and then there I go all try hard with my offhand Espada Rupera which makes me feel a bit bad uh, afterwards but hey um, so yeah but he he's doing very well as you can see we are we are pretty much uh, on the same health level and uh, I think that says a lot about him, but ouch, there I, I catched him out of his role, and now he's, I think he's panicking a bit, but yeah, and here, that, that trade I just barely won, it was not even close, yeah, right, uh, but awesome. So there he goes for the, for the awesome anvil on a stick, uh, awesome weapons, very, very stylish, but... Uh, I, I got in a, a very good punish there, but speaking of punish, here he gets a backstab on me, and uh, in earlier days of Dark Souls 2, that would have one-shot me. But yeah, GG from for for nerfing criticals as much. Don't know what I was thinking there with with parrying that, uh, but I punished that move, so all was good. I feel a bit bad. I. I, I I have to say, you will, you will see that I show a lot of wins here, uh, and it's not a case of I I chose the matches where I won. I I'm showing every match we had, um, and I just want to say just because I win a lot against Jamie here doesn't absolutely absolutely doesn't mean I'm a better player. I, that really really not. He's he's an awesome player. I think he he might just be a lot better than me. I just, I don't know what it was that day, I, I I think I had a good day and ouch, that parry hurt. Never throw out a, a second or two with a, with a great sword when you do not hit with the first one. Anyway, I, I don't know what it was uh, that day, I, I watched a bit of his, his stuff on YouTube and I fought against the guy so I know he's a very good player and I don't know why I managed to win so much against him. Um, Maybe he let me win. I don't. I don't know. Um, but hey, I'm. I'm not gonna complain. So yeah, that was. That was. Were some some very fun matches against uh, Jami. And now we have uh, someone you might know from from Reddit. He posts here a lot. Robin one three three seven, the lead Robin, uh, who's a very friendly guy. And uh, I met him on Reddit, and um, it was very nice of him. I. I posted in a thread and um, said that yes, uh, I was not really, really happy with my uh, with my skill level because uh, you see I'm German uh, and I work 40 to 50 hours a week, so I never really managed to to follow the the Twitch bros much and and could not really ever fight them, duel with them, and learn from them which is uh, where many, many good players get their skills from, because, uh, f let's face it, the, the Twitch players uh, are really fucking good, and playing against them you will learn a lot about this game. Uh, I never managed to do that much, but uh, Robin1337, I think, um, does hang around the, the streamers a bit, uh, quite a bit, uh, actually, and um, dueled them, I don't know what I was thinking about there, that was such a derp moment trying to, to actually parry a two-handed halberd, yeah right. Uh, anyway, um, so in this thread where I posted uh, that I was not really happy with my skill level, he replied to me and uh, he offered me to to have a set of duels, you know, just uh, to give me some practice in, in dueling and that was very nice of him, I really appreciated that. Uh, and so yeah, we we went at it, and 
I have to say he he didn't really promise too much when he when he said that uh, he was a decent player let's just say and he sure gave me a run for my money now I have to immediately admit up front that in this case I do not show every match we had just because I just simply did not uh, record every match we had uh, I can just show what I did record with with shadow play um, and it was not uh, much deliberate choice to to show matches where I win it uh, it's just what happened but uh, I just want to say in all fairness that he um, he defeated me quite a lot uh, a few times quite humiliatingly uh, I think he flawlessed me one or two times uh, and again, Robin, uh, I, it was it was not uh, deliberate uh, that I do not show this. I just ha hadn't uh, recorded those fights, else I would have showed them. Um, so yeah, here uh, again, I don't feel too good about this. I got out the the bandit axe uh, to win this club fight, but uh, yeah, I, I had to get a one win or two. Uh, in that situation, I think that was a match where we had a few, uh, where he f had a few wins against me. So uh, before, I mean, and uh, so I just had to to win one again. Here, I'd, uh, I don't know. Uh, never, never a good idea to pull out the zweihander against someone who uses a quick weapon, especially when he knows what he's doing, which Robin certainly does. Uh, but I'm pretty proud of myself that uh, I got him one or two times with the Zwei before he uh, I think absolutely destroys me here ouch yes that weapon really fucking hurts when it gets you may have been used with the Leo ring I, th I think and uh, yeah boom ouch dead basically so that's that's how uh, uh, quite a few matches went uh, I just want to admit that I, I didn't have uh, I just don't have them recorded unfortunately now here I learned from my experience from the last fight and switched to a bit more quicker weapon the the red rust scimitar which I, which I absolutely love and adore such a fun weapon to play with and frankly very effective but yeah I thought I maybe throw in the scythe to make it a bit more demanding on my side and got him there with a with a running R1 which is a very good attack uh, with the with the Hobart class weapons and uh, managed to do quite well against our Mr. Robin there and yes here GG yeah Red Rust Scimitar just a very good weapon so now we we go a l bit less try hard on each other he with the with the with the great scythe i think that is and and me with the the club the reinforced club which is also such a shit weapon but somehow fun to to play with because it's it's so shitty it's basically a it's basically a ladle I would say with with more damage but it doesn't really matter because you you're not gonna hit web, uh, people with the reinforced club the the move set is just completely shitty so um, I don't actually feel too bad this time around uh, that I that I have a katana equipped in my in my second slot to uh, just to get some some breathing room in between using the the reinforced club uh, especially I have to say again against a good player like uh, Robin here uh, I really don't feel too bad uh, for using a katana um, he, he still uh, does really well against me although I won here uh, with the great scythe I, I think that says a lot uh, about him and <laughs> also my skill level I suppose uh, but here, yes, bandit axe in his hands. That that is something I really don't like seeing. Um, a good player with uh, with the bandit axe because that weapon alone is just too good, especially after the the buffs. But here 
I was so proud of myself, I have no problem admitting it. And uh, yeah, that, that felt really good. And um, I can counter his his banded axe with the silver black sickle, which again makes me really feel good. So yeah, that was fun. Thanks for watching. And a big shout out to Robin1337 and Jami. Thank you very much guys for those awesome duels. You you let this invader see that uh, duels can actually be fun. So yeah, have a good one guys.